What we managed to do in our city was very, very important in two different levels. One, it was rebuilding trust and respect for government. And I can't really go into this at any length because I'm limited in my time. But you have to understand that when I became mayor of my city, there really was no mayor's office. It was there was literally zero expectation on what my government could do. So everything that I talked about was predicated first and foremost in rallying my people in a series of what we call citizen summits of four or 5,000 people every two years, rallying them around a vision, producing short-term results that build credibility for the government, and then doing A, or making sure that A, we delivered services throughout our city, the poorest region of our city, receiving the same services with the same responsiveness and the same expectation as the richest region of our city, and number two, finding symbolic projects that were about inclusiveness, that were about people belonging, that were about stakeholdership. And the most important of them were a series of projects that we call in our country and in, in, and in my city, Hope Six. I mentioned Bruce Katz and his time working in the Department of Housing and Urban Development. They developed a way to take housing reservations or housing estates or housing projects that were exclusively low-income, high-density, poorly managed, low-income projects and make them into living, breathing communities of mixed incomes where people were able to live in a real community knitted into the fabric of the city. We managed to not only do six of these projects, but we actually managed under our own power to begin three more of these projects, one of them in an area called Sursum Corda, now called Northwest One. We were able to take a murder rate where the percentage of population it was something like 30% and bring it down to zero by rebuilding this community. Another example of this is something you'll hear about later in the conference, the Anacostia Waterfront Initiative where I use my bully pulpit as mayor. It is true that as a mayor, if you say the same thing over and over, oh, let me back up. If you pick out of all your universe of potential objectives and goals, three goals, and you slavishly, relentlessly hang on and pursue these goals and talk about these goals to the almost the exclusion of everything else, after a while, believe it or not, it actually sinks in. So when I became mayor, I started talking about the Anacostia River. No one even knew what I was talking about. Most people didn't even know where the Anacostia River was. The Anacostia River was an important focal point in what I'm talking about. When I talk about Bruce Katz and a region divided, if you talked about the dividing line of the region and of the city by income, by race, by class, but everything else, it, it actually happened to be the Anacostia River. So by rallying attention and focus on the Anacostia River, we were actually able to build this sense that the city was one city, the city was about all of our people, and that we actually could see positive solutions. Now let me wrap up by being presumptuous and offering a suggestion to the great people of Sao Paulo. You know, I mentioned all these movies, and I don't want to be hokey, but there's another great American movie uh, it's a Wonderful Life, and in this uh, American movie, Jimmy Stewart, the actor, uh, is in this small town. And he's about ready to jump off a bridge because he feels his life's been in vain. He's no more reason to live, and he's ready to jump off the bridge, and an angel comes down to him, and he shows him all the wonderful things that he has going for him and all the wonderful things that he's done. I would say to you, the Palestinos, you're standing here on this bridge. You're ready to jump off because you're, you're doing some frankly, dumb things that we've done in my country. Please don't do these things. Understand the wonderful assets that you have in your city. You have a fantastic city. It's an energetic, vibrant, powerful city. And one of the most important things you have in your city is your downtown, your center, that's been abandoned. One of the greatest things that you could do would be to, number one, invite an international, and using modern, te modern technology, you can do this, and Barack Obama can show you how, Using, mo using modern technology, bring in people from around the world. Use the urban age as a starting point, but bring people from around the world, invite them to help you develop a symbolic project in the center of your city that's about a mix of incomes, a mix of classes, a mix of units, a mix of uses that shows Sao Paulo is back because our core is back. This city is resilient, this city can live, the public realm will survive. Thank you all very much.